Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and I have to talk about this Arctic blast. I mean, this is some of the coldest air I have seen in a long time in Colorado. So you're looking at observations from the 10 mile range, which runs between Frisco, Colorado, and then you know past Breckenridge. But on top of Breck right now, on peak eight, which is about 13,000, the air temperature is 14 below. And the sustained wind is 62 miles per hour the gusts are running 85. The wind chill, when you put those numbers into the wind chill equation, you're looking at wind chills of 50 to 60 plus below zero. I mean, you're out within two minutes exposed skin will freeze. It is incredibly cold in Colorado right now. Sustained winds of 62 with an air temp of minus 14. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, let me show you what this looks like on uh, infrared. Well, let me do my bullet points first, then we'll go to infrared. But this is all part of the Western, Western Arctic Front, which will then, uh, it's gonna race east and develop into a deep area of low pressure over the Great Lakes. Um, and it will push some warmer air into Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. So you'll go, like from Killington, you're gonna go for the snow to rain and then back to snow. So the rain is gonna cut down on accumulations. I still think you're gonna get some. But that'll cut down on accumulations. It'll be very windy during the event. Once it goes by, the temperature is going to drop like a rock. And it's going to be very cold for a couple of days behind the storm system in the northeast. And then we're going to have um, lake effect snow, 1224, 1225, in the wake of it. Um, out west, I talked about this yesterday. The atmospheric river potential looks like 1227 through about 1-1. And then now the data is suggesting it could be strong. We could be looking at a moderate intensity to a strong intensity atmospheric river setup for the West Coast. That means some serious precip, um, big totals of snow possible um, out west as a result. All right, so here's infrared. I chose infrared because you can spot the Arctic air mass in that aqua color. Um, it came all the way down from the Northwest Territories through Montana, Wyoming, and is now sitting over the top of Colorado. Notice the low pressure off the west coast. That will send a few waves of moisture into the interior, so a little dirty flow, kind of keep the snow fresh through Christmas in some places. All right, here is my blog from this morning. Snow through New Year's Eve. Take a look at that, uh, chrystomer.com. Uh, there's the Arctic uh, air mass on infrared. So the forecast pattern let me show you what this looks like. I'll take it full. 1230, end of the month, you're looking at a west to east jet, uh, pineapple connection here, pineapple express. So we've got just like a fire hose of moisture being fired into the west coast, Washington, Oregon, California, and then the jet would send that into the interior. Uh, the Wasatch, the Tetons, and Colorado all benefiting. Idaho would benefit from this as well. So that's what I'm looking at as far as the pattern down the road. Um, Back to the blog, I want to go into uh, timing. Take this full. Here is the forecast radar and satellite. So by Friday morning at 6, dirty flow with that low, sends it into the interior, some nice refreshing snows for Christmas. Then we're just waiting. We're waiting on the establishment of, and here it comes. I mean, look at that on 1227. That, you can see the spin up in the Pacific Northwest. So this is the front end of the atmospheric river. And there's going to be a lot of precip. This is just the start. Snow levels may be an issue with this. The stronger the intensity of the atmospheric river, more and more you tend to have to uh, um, question what the snow levels are going to be. It becomes more of a concern because you're just taking moisture right off the Pacific out of a warm or source origin and, and just forcing it in to the interior, uh, into the Sierra, into the Cascades and so on. Um, so let me run that out one more time just so you can see it. So there's Friday, um, there's Saturday morning, a couple waves of uh, refreshing snow. There's Sunday, kind of in between. Here comes Monday, um, and there it is, the big low, the initial trend setter, pattern setter. Back to the blog, we'll go into uh, totals here. Um, so we've got this set up in three different time phases for the West. All of today through the 24th, very light snows in the interior on that sort of that dirty flow through the 24th. Uh, the biggest numbers are obviously up in the Pacific Northwest, Washington State, BC, Banff, Northern Idaho. Those are the areas that will have the best snow running into Christmas. All right, so here's phase two. This is Christmas Day through the 27th. 
Now on the 27th, you're starting to get that atmospheric river flow, so the numbers on the west coast are starting to go up. The interior, you've got some leftover, some remnant snows, um, not nothing huge, but Idaho does well again, and Whistler, Blackcomb, Banff, interior BC. All right, here's the best period. Um, oh, did I not put that in there? Yeah, here it is. So 1228 through 1231 through New Year's Eve. Big totals across the West Coast, one to two feet. Um, and then that moisture starts to get sent into the interior, the Wasatch, the Tetons, Colorado. All the numbers are going up with this just because of the rich flow of moisture. Um, and, and obviously this is a long way out yet. And so these numbers will likely change, especially across the West Coast as we get a better handle on the intensity of this atmospheric river setup and exactly where the best orographics are going to be and what the snow levels are going to be. Um, let's go into the Northeast. Uh, all of today through the 26th, so you're capturing this big 1223 storm. Um, and again, because of the changeover, that'll cut down on totals. But nonetheless, these have slowly been creeping up 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 inches through Vermont. Um, parts of Maine, Mount Washington, uh, and for some snow. And keep in mind, on the back side of that storm, there's going to be lake effect near the favorite areas. So there you go, guys. A lot to look forward to, especially by the end of the month out west. Thank you for tuning in here and take care.